are lucky enough to have the beautiful Black Hills as our own backyard. And this weekend, we wanted to take advantage of that and find an adventure close to home. Laura and I chose the 23-mile hike from Pactola Lake to Deerfield Lake along the Deerfield Trail. We felt confident that we could complete the trip over the course of two days. Maybe it was because it was Friday the 13th, but as you'll see, the theme of this backpacking trip quickly became, I have no idea where we are. Good morning. Good morning. We're at the Deer Creek Trailhead um, in the Black Hills. And we're gonna be hiking 23 miles to Deerfield Lake. Oh, right here, two silver things. Would you look at that? Yay! We're hiking as fast as we can today. Raspberries! This looks delicious. Yeah, that's good. Ooh. Sorry. We made it to Silver City. We should really pull out our map and see how far we've gone. I have no idea. I also have no idea where the trail goes from here. Oh, I don't know either. Uh -oh. That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to pull out the map. <laughs> All right. We figured things out here pretty quickly City. that time. But this was far from the last time that we lost our way on this trail. And where are we going? Being lost feels very taxing, mentally, emotionally, and in this case, at least, physically as well. Every time we really got lost, my mind was working frantically at a loom, pulling together all the strings of information that I had and trying to form them together into a plan with a known outcome. Despite knowing that I was missing some crucial pieces of material that would actually bring it together into something useful, I couldn't seem to stop my thoughts from spinning, spinning, and ripe. spinning. If they are choke cherries. It tastes the same. I don't think you should eat those. <laughs> Still not great. <laughs> we found a cave. Is this where people come and murder others? <laughs> what are you doing? Is this where people come and murder other people? Yeah. <laughs> I wish I had um, an ice to call. I'm like so obsessed with this coffee. I think we've hiked at least five miles by now. And this part is really flat. It just kind of follows Rapid Creek. Ow! <laughs> That was like, so dangerous in there. <laughs> Did you hear that? What? You didn't hear that? No. We just reached a uh, Flanagan cabin or, you know, what's left of it, which doesn't appear to be much. Yeah, <laughs> I'm kind of a, um, we'll show you, let down slightly. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely the remains of a cabin though. It is. There's the foundation, the walls. And what's the history behind it? I have no idea. Mm. I love these things. What kind of it? Like chocolate macadamia. Mm. Mm. Awesome. Mm. Flanagan Cabin right here. We've hiked 8.8 .8 miles. 
We've got 4.1 to a forest service road, another 1.5, so another five and a half, and then we'll probably hike a mile or so and find a camp in here. <laughs> but you look so happy this doing it. This could be more user friendly. I mean, <laughs> your design is a whole lot. This okay. is not great customer service. No. <laughs> Letting us hike through your land, I guess. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> okay. Yay! I wish I knew what a flume was, but this is the remnants of one. Yeah. Oh, this is bunk beds. So people stay in here? I guess. Did you hear that? I heard it this time. Did you hear what? it? It's probably an animal. I don't know what it is, but... Ooh, that's a dead mouse. Oh, yep. We're rocking and rolling Since I can't remember I have been dying so much can I seem to surrender? Yes, I it's three o'clock and we just filled up our water so our packs are a little heavier now and it's really hot but we're kind of in a shady section so that feels pretty good and the clouds are coming in and out too we still got miles to go this is a monster mushroom. Oh, cool. Weird. Do you need this? Yeah. I'm Sitting out on the front porch, watching that world fly by. Rushing on to wherever it is that they go. I swear by the moon above that peace and love. So we've hiked 13 miles so far. They're all you need to know. And we're just taking a little snack break. Got a cliff bar. Bumming around. Or a Pringles. My snacks are limited, but they're mm -hmm. delicious. And we have about two more miles to hike. Mama went the other way, guy. Yeah. There you go. Time it's pasta marinara night, beef pasta marinara. Yum. Well, we found a camp spot off the trail and then um, we had dinner, which was delicious. I did have an injury. Um, what did I do? I <laughs> cut my finger with a blade of, gla of grass. <laughs> it's actually bleeding pretty good. Oh, and then I did spill some of my dinner but it was okay. I didn't have a napkin, so I just kind of rubbed it in like lotion. <laughs> it, was, it was great. <laughs> We've reached new lows tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is what 16 miles in one day. Does. Here is our cute little tent and our camp spot. We got a nice flat area here. Back Tamora. <sighs> Sitting out on the front porch, watching that world fly by. Rushing on to wherever it is that they go. We were just looking at the map to see what intersections we'd be looking forward to today. And we found out that we're going to be hiking 11 miles instead of 8. 8 miles gets you to the Deerfield Trailhead. 
but we have three more miles to hike but to get to our car. been on this road for probably at least a mile. It's nice and flat, which we appreciate because we're tired. We have no idea where we are. I think we just added an extra three miles to our overall hike today because we took a wrong turn. It's just like Forest Service Road 429, 429-1B, 429-1B, which is not even on the map, and all of our trail markers went away, and I made the mistake of not downloading the GPS map, so really all we have to go by is the paper map, and it's not letting us down. <laughs> We've been on this road for so many hours. Well, not this road specifically, a road. but forest service roads for hours and hours. What, since like nine o'clock? I think so. Jeez. Yes. Some kind strangers just stopped and gave us water. I think and we looked pretty pathetic. <laughs> Do you need any food? Are you okay? Are you gonna make it? <laughs> Yeah, we just need to figure out where we are. Yes. We can keep walking. Um, so we're gonna put some electrolyte tablets in here. Show them the Noom thing. Yeah, we have these. We're gonna throw those in here. Hopefully that'll give us a boost. And we figured out where we are. So we'll either find the trail or the highway and keep going. We'll make it. It's fine. We're gonna make it. We ended up hiking a total of 30 miles over these two days instead of the 23 that we had planned for. While we were lost on these forest service roads for four or five miles, I felt like I needed to stop every couple of minutes to consult the National Geographic map that got us lost in the first place. My mind wouldn't stop insisting that looking at where we had been was the best way to figure out where we needed to go next. It seems like there is always a part of my life where I feel similarly lost and find myself spinning out. I don't have any answers or solutions, but I figure that if it's anything like being lost in the woods, it might be helpful to remind myself that the missing answer is most likely not going to be found in what hasn't worked in the past, and that as difficult as it is to keep walking into the unknown, there is also at least the hope there of either stumbling upon my path again, or if not finding that, then at least I can always call for help to move forward in another direction instead. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you liked this video.